Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. We're at Senpao Temple near these uh, monks who, well, are apparently losing their minds. They're fighting uh, me mostly, and they're also making candy, if I'm not mistaken. Because I wanted to actually check those descriptions again. There's a hole in the, the, the mountain there. Kind of made a bit of a mistake there, but um, they're supposed to make sugar. So candy, and I wanted to check out those descriptions again. So Akko Sugar, does that say anything? So it's made in Sampo Temple, but everything else, yeah, that's nothing as interesting. Another one made in Sampo Temple. Sampo monks spread this candy across Ashina in honor of her military heroes. And the Gokan Sugar, made by the Shinobi hunters, so that's not for us. And then the High Sampo priest gave this candy to a band of short but adept assassins. The assassins do Senpo's dirty work, once hired guards, now extensions of the monks will in their quest for undeath. So the monks are trying to become undeath, which might be why this weird green stained bell is here. Do not ring this bell, inviting misfortune is an act of virtue, but only the stoutest of heart should ever consider it. And I can actually ring this thing. Do we want to ring this thing? I honestly have no idea. And you know, you know me. I'm curious. I want to do everything there is to do in the game. So let's ring this bell. Boom. That didn't do anything, right? Sinister burden. What, what does that mean? Bell Demon, a demonic spirit sealed within the Iron Bell of Senpo Temple, possesses those who ring the bell, strengthening enemies around them. The what? The Bell Demon confers hardship, but perhaps also slightly better spoils. Using this item has no particular effect aside from causing the demon to leave. Say what now? So I just made the game harder for myself. Yeah, the icon is underneath the help bar as well, but if I use this item in my inventory I should yeah I should get rid of it probably okay let's just use the bell demon goodbye burden dispelled okay <laughs> that, that is interesting so if you want to make the game harder for yourself just use the demon just get possessed by a demon okay don't want to be here so let's just go down again and see what else there is to this place so I was wondering if I wanted to try my hand at that um, headless thing that's behind this wall. Because um, we've seen that a few times now and yeah, I want to try this out. But I think that is a specter creature. So I need to equip that divine confetti. So let's get that ready and hug the wall. It's weird because it's kind of like a loading screen because the, the screen fades to black for a second. Um, but we should be almost immediately connecting with that headless demon over here. So if I use the divine confetti now. Oh! Oh, shit! Yeah, it was invisible. And it killed me. Well, that was something. No, no. Die, oh, Rana died. I can't do anything against this guy. I'm so slow. Okay, so that was kind of confirmation that I don't want to do that. I don't want to do... I have no idea how to deal with that guy. My hits might have connected a bit. I did damage, but he just wrecks me. Maybe one more try? <laughs> I don't know. So the fine confetti. And then the healing gourd.
and terror actually kills me in one hit or is that me just misunderstanding that I feel like it kills me in one hit oh yeah and it just it just I can't dodge so normally grabs I need to dodge but because of the smoke I can't even dodge this guy ridiculous so yeah, I feel like there's something over there that I'm missing. I'm just wasting money like this. So let's just move forward. And while I say that, I don't actually have an idea how to get back to the bridge. Because if I just jump off, there's no attachment point here. So I can't actually get back. And I jumped down to actually reach this place. So probably going to have to warp to another sculptor's idol. There we go. So these must be the assassins that the candy was talking about. I'm just gonna jump over there and get this guy. And then uh, this guy. And then we can get to this upper branch and probably get a jumping attack on this guy without dropping off. That was cool. And then this almost gets us to... Yeah, there we go. We can get up here, up here. Grab onto the ledge and then we're pretty much at the bridge, I think. Not that long of a track, but there's the bell again. So now we're at the bridge. Interesting. Ah, we also need to bring that white flower to that big guy. But first let's check the bridge now while we're here. Uh, seems to be locked off. And this seems to be blocked off. Might be items on the other side here, but I have no idea what the hell is that. That looks like a big knight. What? That's just a, a, a knight in armor. Like a western knight. So with the ceramic shards, I'm actually wondering if I can actually hit him. Can I do a death blow on this guy like this? Don't know if I need to hit him twice. He doesn't seem to have an extra health bar. For the sake of oh god! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh! Okay. So let's get the healing gourd back, heal up, and... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, and he's armored up. Okay, let's heal up. Ooh, I need to equip the, the spear. Ah! Oh. Nope. Jesus Christ. Why am I not hurting this guy? Let's hit the armor like a whole bunch. Jesus. Ah, and that's a trust. Come on, get my posture back. Get the posture back, get the posture back. No, and I'm dead. Okay, Armored Warrior. I am unbreakable. Hmm. Let's do that again. Feels like this guy is actually doing this for his son, if I understand correctly. I'm just gonna skip through all these guys, because, yeah, why would I fight them if I can just head on? Doesn't seem like the spear actually works like it normally works. Can't seem to strip the armor off. So, uh... For the sake of my son...
And then let's run away, because that's his mad attack. Oh, don't fall off. And I can't... Oh, I'm still alive. Block. Let's just get back. Ooh, got hit there. Come on, last healing gourd. Okay, he's going again. <laughs> Let's get back. He's gonna go crazy again. There we go. Relentless deflections, and he doesn't seem to care. Us. Okay. And I'm dead. Okay. So that blow didn't help there. So I need to... Ooh. Do I need to kick him off the ledge? Come on. Get him off. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. So I did kill... Ooh. <laughs> that thump. That thump when he landed. Okay, that was awesome. So you couldn't kill him in any other way than just pushing him off the back. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, that was really, really inventive way of dealing with a mini boss. Breath of Nature Shadow, a latent skill that recovers posture upon performing a successful death blow. A shinobi must be prepared for battles in which he is outnumbered. After killing an enemy, one must exhale, expelling both regret and reaffirming one's score to regain posture. Experiencing battles with stronger opponents further deepens this moment of exhalation. There we go. So we upgraded one of our skills. Don't know why there's still fog. I oh, know it's dissipating. It's dissipating and I saw, yeah, I saw Sculptor's Idol through the fog. We just barely made that. Once you get the rhythm down, the deflecting is really, really awesome. And it also deals a lot of damage to his posture. And we get more scrap magnetites. Okay. Okay, and that seems to be a set of stairs going down to the base of the temple. We're definitely not done yet, so let's commune with the Sculptor's Idol. And we just killed the knight, so let's rest. We got two prayer beads, which means that we're halfway through the next vitality upgrade, but we can acquire a single skill if we want to. I'm wondering what... yeah, there was this one. The, where you get more posture upon executing a successful death blow. So might as well do that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. There we go. Breath of Nature Light. So that's probably going to stack with what we just received. Uh, and that's basically it. I could go to the dilapidated temple actually. To just double check if I don't have any upgrades waiting for me there. So let's do that. I should probably just wait until I have more materials. Then, give the drink the monkey booze. I brought something for you. Monkey booze, is it? Oh, it burns the throat, same as ever. This really brings back memories. Did you drink this often? I trained in the techniques of the shinobi, in the valley where the monkeys dwelled. By yourself? No, there were two of us. We were rogue shinobi. There was no proper master for the likes of us. That's why we went to the valley. To run, to jump, to clash swords. Where one slip would mean your doom. That was how we trained. We came to move exactly as monkeys did after a time. <laughs> I'd drink this monkey booze whenever I tired of training. And I'd listen to the howl of my partner's whistling finger while I drank. Howl? It was from his unique ring. 
whistling through that ring would fill the valley with a somber melody. Strangely enough, I enjoyed that sound. I listened to it so often. Hmm. Remember that samurai on the ground that was hearing noises, but he couldn't... And we couldn't hear it, but he uh, couldn't identify where it was coming from. That sounds like the sculptor's partner. And we also knew that once we... Another time, then. Uh, at the moment we found the loaded axe, it was referred to as the weapon of the monkey, if I recall correctly. I don't think it's it's stated here. No, it's no, no longer over here. But the item we used to create the loaded axe actually talked about the monkey of somewhere. I can't recall what the location was, but that seems interesting. So back at the temple grounds, you can actually just jump on the roof here, which is fine by me. Because there's probably another... No, I was going to say it's going to be another light coin purse, but apparently not. And there is a carp. Ooh, two carps in the water down here. Which is interesting for the the merchant at the Hirata estate. The one in the bolt, if you remember that one. There we go. Trade blows a bit. There we go. Took a bit of a hit, but let's just heal that up. Don't mind if I do. So this building was guarded by the wolves. But I don't see any way of entering this building. There we go, that's one carp. And there's a second carp, great. So that's two more treasure carp scales. Which, uh, yeah, don't mind if I do. Let's get out of the water. And try to head up this way. Seems like there's a back way into the building here. There's a single monk over there by the tree. But there's plenty of them right here as well. Um, so I feel like that one is a trap. And those seem like really hard guys. I actually killed him without triggering that guy. Either that guy is actually blind because he seems to be wrapped up in a scar. Or, uh, yeah, I'm just extremely, extremely powerful. Extremely stealthy. There we go. Do need to be careful. They seem to be still dropping stuff, so I'm going to assume that these guys are actually killable. Because we read before that these monks are trying to achieve immortality, so undeath. And they also appear to have a really, really bad sense of uh, spatial awareness, because I just killed every single one of them. Um, so yeah, this place is really weird. So according to a few people we talked to, the Senpa monks are supposed to be good guys, but the poster we saw at the beginning of this area stated that these monks actually abduct and kill people, and the corpses just screwed around over here kind of indicate that as well, because they're bound. So we have candy-making monks that abduct and kill people. Something seems not entirely correct about that. Um... But there seem to be more corpses over here. Because I do want to figure out what is actually going on. Okay. Talking about monkeys. There's there's actually two monkeys here. Are those enemies? Th they are. What are they looking at? They're almost worshipping the bridge. There we go, I think I just got out of that attack with that monkey. I don't know, oh my god, their ass looks horrifying. So I don't know why we're doing this. Persimmon, a red ripe persimmon or something. I don't know how to pronounce that. Persimmon? Persimmon? Persimmon, right? Ready to eat. For a time allows one to recover posture even when attacking or taking damage. Ashina persimmons are particularly nutritious, perhaps because the trees grow in such pure water. 
persimmons become blood, blood becomes rice. This may be of help to one short of blood. Okay, we got one, but what was the other item we got? Another possession balloon. This area down, down below, I don't recognize it. And there's a hammer guy over... Ah, this is the other side of that bridge. Okay, but is there a way for me to get back up here? You know what? I'm curious enough to check this out. If it helps me find out whatever happened here, then all the better, right? Seems like this area down below is pretty clear. So let's just drop down on that. Still in stealth. That was a horrifying growl. What? So it's one of those big guys again, but I can drop down on him. And kill him in one go. And another monkey. And the music stopped, so that's usually a good sign. And a lot of items. Balloons, balloons. So yeah, this is the other side of that bridge that we uh, stealth killed those uh, very hard tool wielding guys over there. No enemies just yet, but a lot more spirit emblems. Heavy coin purse. Okay. Fair enough. Doesn't seem like there's anything else. Or at least not something obvious. So let's head back up. Or at least try to head back up. Because I have no idea whether I'll be able to go back the way I came. But yeah, the amount of bodies is definitely increasing. Feels like they even tossed the bodies down here after they were done doing whatever the hell they were doing to them. That makes me wonder, is the candy made of people? Oh, more monkeys. More monkeys. And he's protecting... Oh, there's definitely another monkey over there. What happens if I just chirk in the guy? There we go. Monkey's taken care of. And this seems to be continuing on. This probably loops back around to where we came from. There's a wolf. There we go. Still having trouble with wolves. And we have more sugar. So definitely in the land of candy right now. So that's the other side of that building. Yeah, we, we, we made an entire loop by dropping down. Could have done that another way, I assume, but... So that means with everything gone over here, we, dis we explored the lower area. That we should finally try and figure out what's going on here and enter the temple if we can. So as always, before we enter the building, let's just check out what's around the building. Seems to be another rooftop over here. And it seems to actually be something that I can jump on top of. I feel like it's always coming from behind me somehow, but that doesn't make sense now, does it? Can we actually open up this door? Because if we can't... Yeah, we can't. Okay. Never mind. I take that back. Okay, but there is something detecting me outside. And alongside a lot more bodies, there's another item here. More ceramic shards. There Ooh. We can get inside here. So there's multiple assassins waiting at the door. Might as well go for the ones with armor. There we go. Oh god, they're actually doing a lot of damage. Oh god. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Let's go over here. That was a lot of dudes all of a sudden. So the monks also came to play. Oh god, oh god, there's a lot more where that came from. There we go. Oh 
Oh, wow. I just... I didn't get my... What? Well, that was ridiculous. I'm just gonna heal up. There we go. There we go. Stop throwing shit at me. Ah, I'm poisoned. Crap. I can probably fix that with... I use an antidote, but I'm not healed. Okay. Ow. No, I'm not, not going to make this. I'm not going to make this. I'm going to have to... Oh, God. Just going to gather all that. There we go. Just gonna get another pallet and then try and defeat this guy. That should be no pro no problem. There we go. There we go. That was a lot of dudes. That was a lot of dudes. I'm almost down as well. But did that wait? What did just happen? I think he just died. That was like a wooden noise, and we can actually move forwards in the back here as well. Light coin purse. Okay, that was a fight. Should have equipped that whirlwind slash. Actually, that might have helped out a bit. Uh, but I'm not not used to using those different attacks. So there's another one of those immortal, wormy guys. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh Jesus Christ! That was no, no. Would you kindly fuck off? No, that's a big nope. That is a big nope. I'm just gonna exterminate the fuck out of you. Oh! Oh! Yeah. That, that was something. Yeah, this, this thing is not budging, is it? Oh god. Ooh. Oh, I'm almost down. I'm actually doing damage with this. It's going to be a lame way of defeating this, but I'm going to just do go for it. There we go. And I frankly don't give a shit, because I want, yeah, I want the lump of fat wax, because this thing is going to resurrect again, is it? I didn't get any coins or, or something like that from it, so this thing is going to, yeah, it's going to reanimate. Fuck it. Fuck you. Not dealing with that. Oh, and this also seems to be... More than I bargained for. So I'm full up on nothing anymore. I'm just completely out of everything. And this seems to be... Oh, more monks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna rest at the idol and just return here. Because I have nothing anymore. So I think I can actually skip most of this. Oh, of course, there's assassins on the roofs. It seems like they don't even want to follow me, which is fine by me. So that's a good shortcut. Now we have these two monks over here. Let's kill this guy. There we go.
There we go. And a bunch of wolves. That's two of them. That's another one. Just gonna heal up. There's a big guy with a... With a club over there. He's looking for something. He knows something is up, but he doesn't know where I am just yet. And now he just... Now he's just getting down to business again. Okay, I might be able to backstab this guy. There we go. Hello, good fellow. Do you like a back rub? A back rub? More candy, more candy, definitely in the land of candy. Now, where did those wolves come from? They came from over here to the sides. I'm just gonna be careful. It seems like there's a bit of a side area here as well. Might be even bigger than just a side area. Just looking at every nook and cranny. Feels like I just got almost spotted. Yeah, there's two more wolves over there. And one gecko over there. That's a backstab on a wolf. And a gecko. Murdering the local wildlife. And getting another balloon. Balloon, balloon. And this seems to be actually a building that we can enter somehow. And maybe it's the candy factory. Oh no, it's definitely not the candy factory. It's one of those creepy claw guys again. There we go. But they all just seem to be folded as well. So we can deal with that. Up on the rafters. Okay. How are we gonna do this? Okay. There we go. I jumped over him. There we go. So that's these guys, and then... Ooh, there's one big one. Can I actually get to the big one? The big one is the boss. Yeah, I can have a, a death blow attack on. The long arm centipede. Just gonna take out these guys first. Is there another one in the room? I thought there was another one in the room. Yeah, I'm dead. Holy shit, this guy is relentless. I need to jump. Oh wow, he just continues on. That was great. Thank you for that. Fire bombs. It's actually interesting that you can death blow these guys by jumping on top of them. Let's try this again. And then try to kill... Ah, I'm burning! Let's use the dowsing powder. And then heal up. Mm -hmm. 
So let's block. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Just keep on relentlessly attacking the monster. <laughs> I was gonna say bitch, but uh, yellow gunpowder. Amber colored grains forming the base of powerful gunpowder. A precious commodity only found in the sunken valley. Used for explosive protetic tool upgrades for intermediate and higher rank. The yield from yellow powder is greater than that of black, lending the valley stronghold defenses their fiery vigor. And we get another prayer beach. Goodbye. Goodbye. And we actually got two yellow powder. Um, are these monks al alive? They seem to be dead. Ooh. And there's maggots running all over them. What are these guys doing? They're praying to something. So yeah, this is the same room we could access from above. And then we get more black gunpowder as well. Aside from the yellow one. And more sugar. So maybe not entirely the sugar factory. But still, that was a lot of money. These guys actually dropped quite a bit of money. Now, can we actually see what this is? Seems like a red version of what was on the poster that we talked to. Oh, there's an item over here. More black gunpowder. <laughs> Don't want to keep that lying around. And a giant bowl of fire. Fair enough. Let's head back up then. There's no really, not really any need for me to stay in here. Oh, come on. There we go. Double wolf strike. Double wolf strike. And I'm poisoned. Great. How long does that actually take? Just want to check that out. A little bit of an experiment. Seeing how long poison takes to wear off. I'm probably going to use all my healing gourds while doing this. Since I only have one left. How long does that keep ticking? Because it's going for quite a while now. Because the plan is to just go back to the Sculptor's Idol, I think. Yeah, this actually just keeps going. I'm going to have to use an antidote. And I don't want to use an antidote. Can I actually die? Oh no. No, it wore off. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to take a look a bit further. So this big guy is still here. Might as well stab him in the back. There we go. Got him, and there's a big guy with a shield. Uh, so I should probably get the loaded axe ready. There we go. A guy with a shield. If I can backstab him, all the better. But it doesn't seem like I will be able to do that. Oh, and there's another guy here as well. I don't know what he's doing. He's holding a door. That's just a door. There we go. And that other monk saw me as well. Oh, what the hell is that? That's a bomb. There we go. So basically the archers of the monks over here. Just want to push a little bit further. Just a little bit. There's a one of those bomb tossers right next to me as well. There we go. Stealthy as we do. We don't see any enemies just yet. And I think we're at the side of the temple now. Yeah, we're definitely at the side of the temple. But there was this one guy. There we go. Taking him out. I'm just going to check if there's any items over here. There was one right next to his feet. There we go. So let's get that. More sugar. And I really want to get into the candy factory now. Is there anything here? So this seems to be... Ooh. We can actually climb up here from the roof. That's a nice shortcut. Let's remember that. Let's definitely remember that. Can I get on top of the roof here? I can. Let's check that out first. There's definitely more monks where that came from. 
So what do we do? I'm just gonna kill these two guys. Through the fire explosion. And into this guy's face. Now that I think about it, I thought I had the skill that I got health from that blow. So don't seem to be getting any health from killing guys like this. Maybe stealth dead blows don't count. I have no idea. But let's get back up. I do love the mobility we have. And if there's anybody around here... That was a... A failed death blow. And that seems like a, a very creepy dude that I don't want to deal with right now. So I think I might just go down again. And rest at the Sculptor's Idol over there. Yeah, there's two two of those guys. I don't want to risk that. So uh, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And when we get back in Sekiro, we're going to enter Senpao Temple itself. So thank you guys enormously for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Goodbye.